Our next uh, candidate for mayor will be uh, Hazel Kelly. Please come forward. Thank you, John, and thank you to the group for organizing this major candidates. I always enjoy major candidates and debates. Look forward to them, in fact. Well, I'm going to continue to provide value for tax dollar as we've done in the past. As we've done in the past. It is so important that the challenges are great in regard to the cost of operating a city. But as we deal with the budget, as we've done every year, we will go over it item by item to make sure that there is no duplication that all efficiencies have been brought in. One of the problems that we face is a decent transportation public transit system. We are putting all the gas money we receive from the federal government and provincial government into transit. We turned the sod for the uh, bus rapid transit just a few weeks ago. That's a $92 million project, the largest contract we've issued as a city, and that's only the first phase of it. We are working hard on a light rail transit on Huron, Ontario Street. Metrolinx, which is responsible for the transportation of the GTA, has assigned it a very high priority. We hope to have transit right from Ward 1 right up to the heart of Brampton. Uh, I've asked staff this year to look at how we can provide better public transit on the weekends for people to go to their faith facilities as well as uh, students and immigrants that are working on the weekends because the city of Mississauga is open on the weekends, 100%. The strategic plan that uh, Councillor Corbison mentioned, we consulted 100,000 people. I call it the people's strategic plan, because it truly is. In regard to the cycling plan, we again consulted the cycling committee, and the cycling plan for the next 20 years is the cyclist plan. We also have come up with a new economic development. Yes, we've been very successful. We have 63 of the Fortune 500 head offices in our city. We have over 100 Japanese companies, 86 German, and it goes on and on. And right now, the solar companies are looking to Mississauga. We've signed up two in the last few weeks, and two more on the board. So our economic development provides jobs for ladies and gentlemen to keep your taxes down. It's the industrial office commercial and retail commercial development that has done so much to keep your taxes down in Mississauga because of the fact that residential taxes do not, in many instances, cover the cost of the services we provide. In regard to the task force, we now have a roadmap for the arts and culture and heritage. We're looking for a, a facility for our artifacts, which we don't have, and we hope to have attain that in the next four years. We are uh, working on a sports task force, the Mayor's Sports Task Force, to come up with a strategic plan for sports. Sports is changing. Hockey's going down, cricket, field hockey, and soccer is increasing. I'm looking forward to a large, not, not a white elephant, but a decent stadium on the lakefront. And I hope it will be in Lakeview to give for soccer, for, uh, for uh, cricket, for field hockey, and for any other use, football, and cetera. In regard to the um, convention center, I'm going to work hard, as I have in the past, to bring a convention center to Mississauga in the city core. Windsor has one, London has one, and the sixth largest city in the country doesn't have one. So we're going to work to get a convention center to bring tourists to our city and to provide jobs. I'm going to continue my job challenge, which I started last year to ask the corporations to hire students and immigrants that are out of work. Thousands of students last year were out of work. So ladies and gentlemen, on October the 25th, I ask you to give me the privilege to serve Mississauga for another four years. <laughs> 